Hello, and welcome to your meditation practice as part of the Open Heart Project. I am completely delighted to be your meditation instructor. And today we're going to sit together for 10 minutes, and we're going to start right away, so please get settled. Whether you're sitting on a cushion, on the floor, or on a chair, both are good. Um, and as you get settled, I want to just offer you a very simple definition of what meditation is altogether, because there are a lot of, you know, people have a lot of ideas about what it is or what it should be, and is it some spiritual thing, is it really woo-woo, is it going to, you know, require me to adopt any new beliefs, and so forth, and I'd like to tell you that it will not. And all meditation is, in fact, is substituting for your discursive mind another object of attention. So all I mean by that is rather than placing your attention on your thoughts, you place your attention on another object. And that might sound weird, like what are you going to think about besides your thoughts? However, if you've ever gone for a long drive, or made spaghetti, or made out with someone, or gone to a yoga class, then you know exactly what it means to place your attention on what your body is doing. Um, and getting, it, it rouses a sort of a sense of flow and presence. And that's because your mind and your body are doing the same thing at the same time. So here, rather than placing our attention on our thoughts, the discursive mind, which is always saying things like, when is this going to be over? And I think I might be hungry. And I wonder what my schedule's like tomorrow, and maybe I have cancer, and I think I'm too tired to do this, and so forth. Rather than that, you place your attention on another object. And in our case, that object is the breath. So, you don't have to adopt any new beliefs or think of any spiritual things. All you have to do is substitute for your mind, thinking mind, a different object of attention, which is our breath. And I'm going to explain exactly how to do that as we start our practice for today. So please take your seat, and we'll begin. Please begin your practice by relaxing your body. By sitting up straight, but with a sense of ease. And relax your mind by letting go of any expectations, or hopes, or fears about your meditation practice. Giving up expectation is extremely relaxing for our minds. So if you're seated on the floor, please sit with your legs crossed loosely in front of you. And if you're in a chair, please sit with your feet flat on the floor. The hands are palms down, just above the knee or at mid-thigh. And the right position can be found by going like this. Just let your arms hang from the shoulders. And then bend at the elbow and place your palms where they land on your legs. The basic notion is that the biceps are parallel with the torso so that your shoulders can relax. The back is straight, as mentioned, and Connect with a sense of strength in your back. Our backs have a lot of power. They hold us up. And connect with the softness of your front body, your belly, your chest, and your throat. Three of the gates with which we communicate with our world are open, because they just are. So connect with the sense of openness in the front body and strength in the back body. The chin is tucked a little bit, so the back of the neck is long, and the mouth is delightfully closed. But the lips can be slightly parted because that seems to help the jaw to relax. And please relish this opportunity to not have to say anything. Breath comes in and out through the nose. 
And just let your breath be as it is. There's no technique required to breathe. The eyes remain open and the gaze cast down to a spot about six feet in front and just let your gaze rest on that spot. And you don't have to grip that spot with your eyes, just let it be an anchor for your gaze which streams forth from your eyes. So the eyes are half lidded and soft. And imagine that your eyeballs could rest back in the sockets while vision streamed forth. And rouse the sense of what is in the visual field is coming towards you to be seen rather than you having to reach out to see it with your eyes. And the crown of the head reaches up a little bit while the sit bones root down. And this simultaneous downward rooting and upward lifting are as inseparable as the strength of your back body and the softness of your front body. Let your attention rest on your breath. Follow your breath in on the inhale with your attention. And let your attention flow out on the exhale. Notice that there is a little gap at the end of the exhale and that you don't have to do anything but wait as the next inhale gathers and arises and you can come in again with that and dissolve out again on the exhale. This is called resting the mind on breath. And it is so good to find a way to allow our minds to rest. If you notice that your attention becomes absorbed in thought and you've lost track of breath, no problem, no problem. All you have to do is notice what you're doing, thinking, and then let go of that thought. And it really doesn't matter if the thought is fantastic or horrific or vital or silly or dull, cruel, peaceful, doesn't matter. Simply let go and come back to the object of attention, which is the breath. Take a fresh start, coming in and flowing out. And remember, you can always just let go and come back.
Thank you very much for your practice.